and it drained like this. So I need to make this quick. This is a new battery, but I don't want to, you know, uh, take the juice of that battery. Because this is the first time I do this and I feel really com confident and it's really important what I want to share. So anyway, I went to a skate park in Pivo and I meet uh, uh, a kid there. I don't remember his name, but I know that, you know, he, he was uh, one of the few, you know, like you can see that he, he's not like the other guys, you know, but he's, he's a, a really powerful spiritual being, but he, he don't know, you know, he, he just have the willpower to do something with his energy, you know, and uh, he was doing skateboarding. So, uh, I knew that I was there to inspire him, and I don't know how I'm going to perform, but it's incredible what I just did. First move that I do, well, I did four moves in the room, and after I went to another place in the skate park, but before that, a kid came to see me, and he said to me that I, I inspired him to start a YouTube channel, and it's been three weeks, and I say to him, when was the last time I see you? And he say, in June, and we are in September. So, you know, it takes a, a, a ripple effect, but it's pretty awesome. And that inspired me to do another performance in the skate park, but I was ready to, to, to go, because I say, how can I be? Four moves in the row when I justify it. Well, believe it or not, I did four more combo moves and then I was done. And you know what? When I was done, the kid with the skateboard, he leaves at the same time. So, you know, he was there to help me and I was there to help him as well, to inspire him. So it was like, you know, that was cool, I, I, you know. So then I went to say something like climbing a mountain, but I don't think where there is all these mountain bikes, no, not today, because, you know, it's a rainy day, I, I don't want to deal with all this, I need inner peace. So I went to another forest where nobody was there. It's like a mystical forest. And I walk, and I walk, and I walk, and I do a meditation, and I take path out of the out of the path, and I create my own path, and it was so awesome with my umbrella. I, I don't even need my umbrella because the trees were covering me from the rain, and I even take a nap. I even take a nap. So. It was just awesome. It's the first time I take a nap when it's raining. And I say nap, but I just like, you know, close my eyes and I say, okay, in less than one minute I will fall asleep. And then suddenly it happened. You know, and I awake and I don't even check the time. I don't know how long I'm gone. I don't know, like, but I know that it's necessary. And one thing happened during that nap, just before I go into sleep. Like, I, I can hear extra, uh, extra, ter extra terrestrial beings, light beings. It's, it's, you know, it's the ascension master, you know. They say to me, what are we going to do with him? Um, and one says, well, he, he needs a, a push, so we're going to give him a break. So, okay, we're going to give him a break. And it was so simple, but you know, I knew that when I hear this, it's because they make it four, like it's to just, like this is to tune my awareness, like I am allowed to hear this. 
you know? Because sometimes they do things and I don't hear what they say, but, you know? But sometimes I hear what they say. So, after I went into my car and it was so peaceful, it was kind of, it's, it's getting dark it's, and it's, I realized that it's been a long time that I was not at night there in St. Alila. Normally I leave before it's dark. So I really like the peacefulness of, and I was really in the place where you don't hear cars, nothing. So I started to create. And when I created my video, I discovered new effects. And we are in the second room. Okay. So I decided to create a preview of what takes place last night and today. Because last night, you know, I was going to the BMI, but I can see all this traffic going like this. And I just wake up from my nap. I, I don't want to deal with all these cars to go clean that place. So I decided to take a left. And when I take a left, that means that I go perform. And I did a performance and, you know, I, I was so grateful that I have this opportunity to do this. You know, it's been a while that I didn't perform after a nap before we clean the BMI. Okay, it's been a while. So I was happy that, hey, cool, it's happening. But I, 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 I struggled and I, I need to push through and I was able to like recalibrate myself. So that being said, so the, the preview that I made is about that night and the performance with the kid in the skate park. Like awesome story. That lead me to do the reception room tonight and the church. And where I wanna go with that is that I use tools to be able to make the reception room and the church. I need to speak in the mic. I need to speak in the mic. So that's okay, it's my first time. And you know I don't move with the same because I'm so I'm not used to that. So I, I and the camera is like at, like two meters from me, so I don't know. Like, but I need to get used to it, like I can use the stage. So, I use tools, and the tools that I use is no alcohol beer. Why? You know why? Because it keeps me grounded. Why? Because everything I do, since I awake in the morning and even in my sleep, I elevate my energy. I raise my vibration. You know why? Because that's what truly matters. And when you do this, like at a certain point you're gonna feel too elevated because you're not supposed to be at that level. So you need to recalibrate yourself and you need, you know, it's Trial and error, trial and error. You need to test the ground, test new technique, you know? So, you know, everything what I do, raise my frequency, training my body, cleaning, perform with the unbreakable FL, prototype X. And, you know, cleaning, you know, I, when I clean, I restore the energy back to zero. So, you know, it's like a purification. And it's something that I understand, it's something that I understand, and it's been all 18 years that I do that. And at the beginning, I didn't know that, but I know that I need to give my 110% and I need to transform each place that I did it. And I've been transforming over 150 places in my life and I stopped counting after 100. So maybe I'm at 200 
and I take on the fifty just for you. So, my mission of life, my mission in life, you know, I, I was raised without option. Like a drunk uh, father, a mother that, you know, is a, she's a, a A mother that she stay at home in fear, in her comfort zone. A father that was not cleaning, that was not taking any duty in the house and take everything for granted. So, oh, and fear uh, with money and everything. So, I was raised to be do. Like I was raised to be a sheep and not a leader. I was raised to be no one. I was raised to be working nine to five and be miserable and never see the light at the end of the tunnel. True story. So in 2014, I decided to jump and leap of faith into the unknown and expand my comfort zone because I knew that it was not working. I was only cleaning my and I was in a pattern that it did, it did not get me where I, I want to be in life. It, it's getting me only more deep into this rabbit hole and I don't like it and I was smoking, drinking, consuming and I was just a GMO with violence and I, I was not the guy that you see right now on the stage so what my mission in life is to elevate the consciousness of humanity of each and every one of you by giving you options that I didn't have my parents are not to blame because they were raised like this and they are 84 and 82 years old or 85 82 years old anyway they were raised without these options but I and living in the now and I have these options and I want to offer this, these options to you that you know, spaghetti but which kind of spaghetti do you like? the one that's gonna get you killed in 20 years? where I want to go with that is like there is a note of the Lord there. And it's a, a day of spaghetti for everyone. It's free. But what kind of spaghetti is that? Well, let me tell you what it is. It's a GMO spaghetti. It's a cheap spaghetti. It's a spaghetti full of processed food. Why? Because it's low vibration. It keeps the people enslaved with a leash. Sheep. You know? Feed the sheep so they can come back. So, you know, what I got to do in life, one of my missions is that I will offer not only spaghetti but protein shakes the unbreakable FL day 11 course um, all kinds of stuff but where I want to go with that is that it's going to be organic it's going to be for you to feel better not for you to feel like a sheep, for you to reclaim
claim back your power. Everything that I like, like, offer you, it's for you to elevate your consciousness, for you to awake. That's gonna trigger you to say, oh wow, for real? Huh? And this will have ripple effect in the days to come, in the months to come, in the years to come. And you will be able to reclaim back the power to come into your dream, to come into your health. And you're going to be able to try it and make you as well an impact to leave the new earth rising. Because that's what takes place right now. But if you leave that GMO vaguely, or you're going to take that alcohol and that drug and that cigarette, you will stay a sheep. You will never discover your true purpose. You will never have this connection to the source of why you are truly here on planet Earth and you will not know what it is your true mission. Oh, and one of my mission is to build organic electric solar house with indoor and outdoor skate park all over the world and I don't want to talk too much about this because this is really something special and you don't need more information about that because I'm not there yet but this is something that I'm going to be able to offer you and when you're going to want to rent this place, wherever it is on earth, you're going to experience an environment that's going to elevate your consciousness, where you're going to be able to perform in a skate park in an amazing fairy environment that's going to elevate your consciousness, that's going to help you awake and grow stronger to reclaim back your power, to be more confident about yourself, to be more in love with your life and humanity. And this is something that I never experienced before I awake. Like when I start to awake, I choose not to please society, not to please my parents, not to be a slave to a boss or whatever. I choose freedom. I choose to discover who I am and I choose to heal myself because I know that all the smoking, all the party, all the alcohol, all the lack of self-love, the lack of consciousness that I was hurt inside, that I inflict it because I was in that lower frequency, that lower dimension that the people around me was keeping me because they were afraid to lose me. Because that's what happened when people are consuming GMO, cigarettes, drugs, alcohol. This is a lack of self-love. This is a lack of confidence. This is a sign that they built. And you know, we all have enlightened moments. But you need to have enough 
of your current situation, to make a breach, to unleash your full potential, because you know, we, we think that we, we use up our full potential, but in reality, we use only a certain amount because we don't really know the amount. We don't have a gauge to see what is the level of energy that we use. But, you know, we, we were raised to be tired, to burn the, uh, the energy that we have, but not why, like, go work for another, you know, and just have your little pay to just be able to barely make it and restart again. So, you know, you put all your energy in one basket and after you're tired. So, if it's, if it's you, well, let me tell you something. To break free of this, you need to win. You need to invest in your health. You need to find a way to invest in your health. You know, I, I didn't go 100% vegan in one day, but I start one object. I make a switch. But to make that switch, I start doing the free landscape. You know, I start doing something outside of my comfort zone that put me into the unknown and put me in a situation that I was not used to. Like I was not a sheep anymore. That was the only moment I was not a sheep anymore. After I go back, I was a sheep. And that's how I was able to break free from that sheep mentality. And that sport lead me to Stop smoking, stop drinking, stop taking drugs, stop hanging around with people that don't serve my best interests. So, I hope that this will help you elevate your consciousness. Like you can see, I step out of my comfort zone right now. I never did that, but you know what? I own this stage right now, and even if I, I, I feel really like a newbie, well, let me tell you something. It's been over eight, eight years that I achieved that stage. And I never did what I do right now like I do right now. Yes, I did record videos in this church. In, in one time, I, have, I, have, I was cleaning two church. So I was doing this in two different kind of church, in two different stages. But I never did it the way I am doing it right now, because it's so important that I say to you that my mission in life is to give you healthy choice. Like, I don't gonna force you. It's like I gonna present it to you and I gonna show to you that it's working. Like, you know, you like GMO spaghetti? Well, wait to, to taste my vegan spaghetti. You gonna fall in love immediately. You just need to trust and to have faith. And this, just this, will change your life forever. This is only an example. You know, I invented 
Don't bring the whole FL prototype X. Well, it was not always prototype X. It's because I, I've been passing nine other prototypes before that one. I was failing, rebuilding, failing, rebuilding, and never give up. You know, my true calling, I know deep inside of me that I was not just a cleaner. Society wants me to be just a cleaner, but not me. But it takes a lot to break free from that when you consider yourself as the best cleaner in the world of all time. But it takes lots of meditation, lots of nature, lots of investing in my health, lots of moving my body, stepping out of my comfort zone and doing what I love. And know what I love and what's good for me. By testing. But you know, in the field that I want to test, it's the field of nature, of organic. So I know what branch, you know, like, that's the thing, it's a choice, you know? If you choose to always lower your vibration, but you're not aware that you do, but in reality, you are, It's a choice. It's an unconscious choice that you choose. But when you look at the result of your life and how do you feel in your head, you will have evident signs that something is wrong. And you cannot deny it. When you observe yourself, you know that's the thing that I don't finish with that. When I was consuming, I was not able to be true to myself because I was always escaping who I, who I truly was. It was more than that. So, you know, like I said, we have so many enlightened moments. And we need to take action in this enlightening moment. And I truly believe that those here who's watching me right now and listening to me, you all have an enlightened moment. And that's how you're going to be able to elevate your consciousness with what I just talked about here. And that will inspire you to stop taking that non organic spaghetti or whatever it is, you know, all that greasy food, that caffeine, all that things that, you know, you, you have access to it, but you know, we live in a world where everything is accessible, but you need to know what serves you and what does not serve you, but it's pretty clear, you know, but if you cannot make the shift, it's because you're not strong enough. So by building strength mentally, physically, and emotionally, and focus on that, well, you're gonna be able to reclaim back your power and connect to the source like Shikili. Stop! Oh! And I'm done here. Thanks for watching and I wish you the best enlightenment of a life. Oh and this is an extension. I just need to restart this. Stop! Oh yes! Right here in the church that I came so well for over eight years.
And finally, I'm able to preach with a mic in my hand. So, for all those who don't believe in me or hide that you believe in me because you can see the light, but you don't want to show me that, like, show me your support, well, let me tell you something. Hey, I'm there to elevate consciousness. I'm not there to steal the earth's sword light. I just do me. And I want to serve humanity because I'm a light being and I came here on planet earth to raise the frequency and I need to use what I have and make the best out of it. She can kill me. Stop! Oh!